Hi everybody, my name is Steve Faulkner, creator of CardMagicCourse.com and I just want to share this video. When I was in Blackpool back in February, and it's like July now, 2014, so a long time ago, um, I met a guy that just floored me, alright? Um, now, I've been walking around Blackpool for three days, I was starting to lose the will to live, alright, to be honest. Uh, lovely convention, you know, don't get me in trouble, but um, I, I was just a bit jaded with magic by then, and I thought I'd seen everything, and I was a bit like, Fur. And then Louis de Matos, very good magician, uh, introduced me to a guy called Dean Lahn, right? Now, Dean Lahn just totally woke me up and totally inspired me. And I really hope that what I'm going to show you now inspires you. And it's very amazing what he does. That's great. Um, but the point I'm trying to make is about flexibility. Uh, and this demonstrates it perfectly, okay? And the point all I'm trying to make is that if you learn something, whether it's a magic trick or whatever from a DVD or a book, and you struggle with it, uh, because of your hands being too small or your fingers being too porky fat like mine, um, you can adapt it to your ability, okay? And that's really important because so many people, myself included, have tried to learn stuff, can't do it the way it says it in the book, and just quit and say, I'm not just cut out for that. Um, and Dean's going to show you, hopefully, on um, this little film, filmed on a phone, not great quality, um, that that you can kind of, you can get around that and you can achieve pretty much anything you want to achieve if you hit it with the right mindset. Ladies and gentlemen, Dean Lan. The current theme is the stage. Maybe you weren't expecting it, so I'll do it again. Take that card to place about halfway down. Do you know what we halfway down? It's more than That's not me. Amazing. Dean, ladies and gentlemen, nice to meet you, mate. Super. See, we've all done it. We've all made the excuses, okay? When we're finding something tough or challenging in our lives, we start, our brains start making excuses. Because what happens is the brain and the mind tend to find the path of least resistance, okay? So whatever's easier, without us sort of in, getting involved and in kind of making ourselves, trying to inspire ourselves to do something difficult, we'll just go the easy route. And the easy route is to just quit, okay? It's easier not to learn the trick or not to go running or not to do exercise or not to eat healthily. It's just easier not to do that. So unless we put loads and loads of effort into it, we won't, okay? So if you take someone like Dean, he's got the excuses, more than any of us, to not do this stuff, okay? To say, I can't do this with cars, I can't do this with dead cars, but he's adapted it, he's gone, no, I'm gonna, so how can I do it with my physicality, my body, da 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 and he's done it. And I hope this is as inspiring for you as it is for me, okay? So if you find yourself making excuses, but you still really wanna learn stuff, if you don't, fine, but if you really, really wanna get into it and learn magic or learn something that, that is a challenge for you, just understand that with work, you can probably do it in your way. Okay, I hope uh, this has been as helpful to you as it was for me to see. Uh, my name's Steve Faulkner, that's Dean Lahn, uh, Dean Lahan, spelled L-A-H-A-N. Check out his website 
um, and his Facebook page and put a little comment in there and all that and that'd be great. Take care everybody, have a good day.